We worship God with our tithe and offerings because it is also a way to support the ministry of those who are dedicating their lives to the work of God. The books of Moses mention two special groups of spiritual leaders and how they were sustained. We read in Numbers 18 verse 2, Bring your fellow Levites from your ancestral tribe to join you and assist you when you and your sons minister before the tent of the covenant law. This chapter reviews the tasks assigned to priests and Levites. Priests were assigned to the altar and inside the tabernacle. Levites were to take care of everything else regarding the tabernacle. Each group had specific and exclusive responsibilities, although Israel as a whole was a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Their ministry brought spiritual blessings. How were they sustained in their needs, you might ask? God told Aaron, All the holy offerings the Israelites give me, I give to you and your sons as your portion. The Lord also told him, I give to the Levites as their inheritance the tithes that the Israelites present as an offering to the Lord. By establishing the storehouse system, God gave the holy offerings that were his to the priests and his holy tithe to all the Levites. This transfer of resources was a means used by God to support the spiritual leaders in ancient Israel, ensuring that religious education and the service of the tabernacle would not be discontinued. This provision was connected to the fact that their important ministries required total dedication. Both Jesus and Paul considered that the same principle should apply to support the appointed spiritual leaders of the church. Pastors and other spiritual leaders are a source of blessings. Do my tithe and offerings pay for them? The answer is no. Tithe and offerings, once returned, become his property, which he disposes as he wills. Even though given to God in an act of worship, one good additional reason to give is in order to partner with God to support the essential work of ministry. As we worship with our tithe and regular offerings, called promise, we enjoy the privilege of participating in God's saving mission. May we put our desires last and God first.